Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love, love of the journey, love of each other, back to our soul group that are most definitely helping us on this journey, and all the way back to our twin flames. And so I'm being guided to do a divine love healing, and so I connect to your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path and basically allows you to move out of your head and into your heart and also because this basically all of this is about you know really having faith and trust in your journey and in your heart um, and also I do a divine love crystal grid where you receive pieces of rose quartz and when you meditate with that and you have the intent to send unconditional love out to your twin and out to raise love and light on the planet the power of doing this collectively is huge and so what I just wanted to share, because um, I've just come to my mum's because it's Mother's Day this weekend, and um, there is a magazine, and I have to say that there are, again, so many messages in here. So I'm just going to go through it because all of these, again, this is just shows you that every time you think I'm wavering a little bit or, you know, this has been a, you know, challenging time at the moment, then they pull it out the bag and bring us something like this. So look at this. The first thing is we've had the Dame Vera. Dame Vera, Vera was a song that came through the other day. That came through from somebody on the grid. Um, on here it also has, look at this, the Britain's toughest puzzle. I've been saying about doing the Divine Jigsaw and at the moment it does feel quite challenging. So the fact that it even says like a challenge and all of the writing is in gold, just as a reminder to stay on the golden path. And here it even says the golden rules of planting, right? So just brilliant. Um, the first page it comes onto, it talks about musicals and it talks about Star Wars. It talks about E.T., Superman, um, and has got also, uh, yeah, Superman, Harry Potter, We've got Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra has featured as well. I mean, just like everywhere, basically everywhere. So I go to this page, right? Now look at this because this is the first thing that I see. This is a cobra. We've had serpents recently. And um, I do a lamp business and my twin makes the shades for us. Here is a cobra lamp stand. Um, by it, we had the Kuan Yin um, Oracle card yesterday, which is about getting rid of past life and moving into, um, and basically the healing was about putting, imagining a silver, uh, a silk, um, basically a piece of silk going over you, covering you with light and clearing away any darkness. The So right next to the Cobra lampstand is the Tree of Life silk scarf. Along with that, there are elephants pretty much on every single, every single pet, every single piece. Um, there's elephants and more elephants here. So basically, and another elephant here. So again, that was a the the, the elephants have been coming through really strongly. Um, and I forget the um, symbology of the elephant, but again, just amazing. St. Paul's Cathedral we had recently, and we've had daffodils. This is an article actually about shining a daff on St. Paul's. So this has been, you know, the daffodils is all about that they're a really, really hardy plant. And then even in the harshest of winters, they still come up again. So that's why you have to feel that even though it might seem completely impossible at the moment, don't worry because it's not. Here we go, goat to meet you. So the goat has been a theme as well. Um, and then look, this is um, for actually St. David's Day. We've had David, the Star of David, which is 22, which is the beloved divine union because it's the perfect mix of divine masculine, divine feminine and a six pointed star. Then we have, look, on the same page, we've got the penguins. Penguins have been a feature. Also, the song Love is in the Air. That came through the other day. This is all an article about basically the penguins version of engagement rings. The male Gen 2 penguins dash to find the shiniest stones to give to a potential mate. The penguins version of an engagement ring. So I was just like, oh my God, all of those in what, in the, in the, like the first couple of pages. 
Then we have Vera Lynn. She was, you know, again, the significance around this is that she was a really strong lady who helped in the war, right, to help um, people in, in the, the veterans and the soldiers in the war and entertain them. So we've also got, hang on, because I'm just going to scroll through. Well, there's a twin pair of hearts. This is all about cooking. This is the next one that I just thought. There's quite a few others in here, but look, this is the main one. If you've been following these messages, then we had the, yesterday or the day before about David Austin, who was a rose. Um, and this was sent to somebody by somebody's twin. And then when she researched it, she re realised it was um, David again, which is Star of David. Right, so this is the first thing. I mean, this, I can't, I was quite, I was, I was kind of like, shut up, we've just had that as a message the other day. On the page next to it, then we have the flamingo. We have the antlers of the deer. And we also have the rose on the tin as well. So again, just so many signs all in one. I mean, just a crazy, crazy, crazy. The page, the page after it is um, has the butterfly and has the ladybird. Again, these are things that we've had, and it also has the wood. Uh, it also has the wood, and it's all about the trees. You know, so the divine love crystal grid is all based around the forest lovers. Um, so I basically carry on. There's a pair of lovebirds, but oh, this is it. The giraffes. So we have the giraffes as well. The giraffes are all about rising up. We then have the French. We have cheese. <laughs> we have more France. Um, and then look, these are that we have the lady in the red dress. We've got the the film Wish We Were Here, and then we had the cat Bob the cat. All three, one after the other. Okay. So now, just lastly, because this is brilliant. Um, this is, there's lots of things in here. There's a, there's a lady called Victoria Fox. We've had victory coming through recently. Fox is a massive sign, of course. And now we've got victory for, uh, Victoria Fox. Above it is 11. <laughs> um, and then we've also got on here one second, because again, just amazing 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 sign because it has somebody's actual um let me just do it one sec it has actually somebody's twins name on it that i uh, i know um so hang on because i was like shut that's crazy 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 um hang on oh look, yeah here look we've got a twin pair of swans <laughs> we've got the umbrella these are all things, then we've got the poppies. All of these featured in people's healings, right? On here, look at this. This is for Red Nose Day, which is all about making a difference. And look at on here. So we have uh, Make Your Laugh Matter, right? And look at that. So this guy here is called, he's called David Walliams as well. And so it is all about rising up. You know, the, the this is all about raising money for children and changing the way that people live their lives and changing the way that children live their lives. And so the fact that this is on here as well is just perfect. So again, all of that, I have to say, in just one little, you know, a couple of pages of a magazine, right? So there's there is there's basically, there's more. But um, those are the ones that I just picked out just now. So just know this, right? Even though it does feel like it's feeling, you know, the... Um, even though it might look impossible, right? What I am saying is the possible is always possible. Anything... Oh, this is it. Yeah, look at this. Thunderbirds has been a message recently. And then we have Thunderbirds here. We've also got... Um, there was something else on this page. There is Thunderbirds, and then we've also got, well, we've got here, we've got um, David, again, David Hockney, because he's doing an exhibition. So, uh, yeah, you know what? There's just, like, every page that you look at, and then we've got the fox again. Every page you look at, there's something, right? There's always something that links back to somebody's healing, or there is a message. So, just know this. But actually, it's an amazing, amazing journey. And look, this is why this is because he's saying, I feel blessed by my success. 
And you know what? We are going to be blessed with this, with success. There is no doubt about it. We wouldn't be all collectively getting all of these signs. We wouldn't all collectively be getting the same messages if we weren't all helping each other doing this. And the whole aim is about raising love and light on the planet. So we have to think about the bigger picture, which is why we're seeing we're getting all this help, right? Which is why we're seeing all of these messages which are helping us on our journey all right so try to rise above try to be the um yeah try to rise above and be the um what's the word uh be the surfboard be the surfboard that rides on top of the waves all right i hope that helps out oh, and listen to beach if you haven't subscribed to beach angel tarot then um, subscribe to her and listen to her read because uh, she comes, the song that came up was I Can See Clearly Now and that was a song that came through for us a while ago. So, and also lots of her, her reads are always um, very spot on with all of the energies that we're sharing. All right, well, thank you so much. If you wanna come to me for healing or to join in the Crystal Grid, please do because all of these messages uh, and do, the power of doing it collectively is what is going to bring us all home. All right, take care. Have a good one. Bye.